welcome to another vloggy vlog we're in cali i'm taking care of my mom who got surgery and i'm just taking like an hour break i'm gonna go watch my nephew play soccer so cute baby this field is packed baby jam packed these babies like be playing the olympics or something it's crazy so we're gonna go watch them do i got the keys i had to park yeah i do y'all i had to park hella far away just like i don't even know it's like they in a an important uh halloween stuff oh man anyway yeah i'm on my way to go see him i haven't seen him play soccer i haven't seen him in like a year or two years so the lord is really having me rekindle my relationships with the people i love and care about so step one is making them a priority so even though i'm tired i'm gonna go watch this baby play so let's go let's go <laughs> this is the best thing ever <laughs> how old are they <laughs> Funniest thing I've ever seen in my life are six year olds playing soccer. <laughs> the best, the best, dude. These little babies. And mind your business, I'm drinking a Celsius. Facts. <laughs> Bacteria, babe. <laughs> Have you seen that video that kid who gets it jumps on his face? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the cutest little boy ever. You do? Are you? Oh. Rexy. <laughs> no, don't do my girl like that. <laughs> Straight G. She's a cholo. Ready, hey, boy. Woo! Nice job! Woo! Yeah, good job! You better do good. Good job, play, like, forward? Yo, I had the best time watching them play. Um... Yeah, it was a lot of fun seeing <laughs> him out there kicking the ball and just like, it was great. I am super disappointed in myself that I've missed so much of their life. Why am I always so emotional? Jeez, oh man. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm, I had a great time. It was so good to see them and like, you know, just spend time with the kids and be an aunt again you know where we live is very isolating so i am not like easily accessible to the stuff that they're doing and i just thank the lord that he's the holy spirit is prompting me to take action and not just be sad about it and think like whoa what can i do to rekindle a relationship like forget it you, you, like living in that is the enemy telling you that you can't do something you can't rekindle something or you can't like be a part of something that's the enemy for sure and so i'm just doing what the lord said and i am not gonna let him steal joy of being like with family or friends or whatever and i'm just really thankful that he's teaching me how to do that in a adult way like I know I'm grown and everything, but I have a hard time acting grown during emotional situations, just like trauma response stuff, you know? And so I have a hard time with that, but I've been, let me lock these doors, baby. Um, I just have a hard time with doing that. And so to have the Holy Spirit's help in doing that is really refreshing and feels really good because it's like I can rely on him 
to not break down to be like a part of their lives to do all that stuff and be happy while doing it and not let the okay well you weren't here during this that's not that. well now you can never be there because you already missed the importance of like forget that like you have to be present in the here and now and that's from the lord to be present now like it literally says that tomorrow has enough worry for itself like, you know like the birds of the air have everything given to them before they even like ask for it i shouldn't you know what i mean like it's it's already provided because the heavenly father our heavenly father knows that we already need it and i feel like i can't be so consumed with the tomorrow that i forget how to live in the today and to be present in, in the today and to be present for the people i care about and i love so i am just like really on this journey of of allowing the holy spirit to correct the things that i've maybe let get out of hand or I have refused to correct because of embarrassment or shame or whatever. Like, that's from the pit of hell. We be on that. We're not going to be doing that no more. So I had a great time. The kids were awesome. My sister was awesome. My brother-in-law was awesome. Like, we had a really good time. And, yeah, I'm just looking forward to the future. Like, not just my career, but my personal relationships with people. So this is, this is a good... This is... This vloggy vlog, we, glow, we glowing up, we growing up we blooming late bloomer blooming It's not that hot. He's like, I didn't say take your clothes off. <laughs> no matter what, I still don't see anything. Do it. Nope. Bridget. No, ma'am. Come in. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Vlog life. I don't know if that's going to stay. It's because you don't know how to be a vlogger. Oh god, that looks sweet. Okay, this is gonna That looks so depressing. Stop. I kinda oh. I, I hope I get that other job. But yes, ma I'm gonna just go straight. Yeah. I'm just gonna go straight, sir. No, I'm not. How, How about that? <laughs> How you like me now? Um I hope I get that other position to be able to get because as I get older I just have to be more realistic, right? Yeah. I think that would be awesome. Do do a trade. I know. I've really thought about it, but I'm like, a lot of the medical fields and stuff like that, like, why don't you do medical billing? Nah, I don't want to do that. Okay. You would be good at it, though. I don't want to do anything where I have... You could do it at home. I know. No, I... I they make good money. I had Catherine research that option for me, and I was like, no, that just is not The fact me. that you had somebody else research it for you <laughs> says a lot already. <laughs> what's up y'all we're back in the vehicle we're back in our car jimmy just picked me up um from my mom's house my mom and my grandpa's house and we're gonna be heading back to arizona from cali you know it's really weird is like as an adult when you isn't this cute look at it it's fake whatever it's cute though um but you know like when you visit your childhood home or like you go back to it just it floods you with a lot of emotions that are attached to your childhood and for one of the first times in my life literally in my life I was able to handle those emotions really well like I mended relationships with people that I wanted to mend relationships with like it was just really good and I feel like the Lord was really in it anytime he has a massive change coming for me 
And for us, he requires something on my part. And I'm not talking like something that is what's the word I'm looking for the requirement is something that is beautiful I should say and it um, allows for growth in a lot of different areas and so forgiveness for me is very big and acknowledging faults is very big and that kind of like vein and thread of like your life and how you are and how you feel like anytime something is going to change he requires that I either forgive, let go, acknowledge, and then he can move in and change what he needs to change and root out what he needs to root out. And it's like, it's been so different this go around with my faith because I've actually taken the steps of doing those things. And I've sat in being uncomfortable, which I could not sit in the uncomfortableness before. Like it was so suffocating that I felt like there's no way I can make it through this. And God has changed me so deeply to the point where it's like, what? Like you can actually handle this, but only enabled by the strength and grace of Jesus Christ and through the Holy Spirit. Like the father gives out so much goodness, so much help when you let him in you know he's such a gentleman he doesn't force himself so like this go around was really a good trip um i really mended relationships like with my sister so that i can be a part of my niece and my nephew's lives um and just meaningful conversations where i'm not afraid to lay everything out on the table and i wanted them to not be afraid to lay it out on the table for me either because that's where real growth comes in. It's when we're honest with the people we love and care about, even when we're uncomfortable. So it was really a great trip. And even with acknowledging those feelings of childhood, I still had a good trip. Like you can acknowledge the feelings, you feel them, they're there, thank you very much. But we also had great times. We also had good things. Like it's not dwelling and ruminating on the terrible. So anyway, all of that long story long it was a great trip and we're heading back to arizona so i'll see you then good morning beautiful ladies so today is <clears throat> wednesday that's all i know that it is and we have some exciting news we are going to be working on my trailer to turn it into the spa. Praise God, check it out. So there's the trailer. We gotta move some stuff out of it first. And then we're gonna be gutting it. I got my protein shake, today's gonna be 90 degrees. I have to go to work in like a couple hours. So we're just gonna do a little bit and then I'll go to work and we'll keep doing a little bit this weekend or whatever. So yeah, this is really exciting. Take the tires out. of the trailer so you see what it looks like before so you walk in and this right here is a slide out so that pushes all the way out then you have the full sink area <clears throat> I started to remodel it before not a greatest paint job and stuff but um, I think one of my girlfriends is going to help me out. Uh, so you, you can see it goes back kind of far. And then you turn and you have this bathroom, which I think is coming out because I need the space. Um, and then you walk in 
and you have our refrigerator to this side which i believe is also coming out and um this is the bed which is definitely coming out and it's gonna be um like put all the way to the ground so it's like i can walk all the way back we got a little tv area which i'm definitely gonna keep and yeah that's it isn't that cute i drew that a long time ago so that's the trailer and i'm really excited i should probably take some stuff out right now too i got my spa stuff and then my spa stuff in here just for storage so yeah let me get to work here This one went which way? Up and down? You you told me up and down. What'd you do? Just push it down. Here we go. I'm gonna go underneath. Trying to push it up? And I make a nice little thing here so we can keep the water tank right here. Because yours would be like four feet right here. All right, so I'm going to take those top shelves off. Mm -hmm. Let's try and save them as... We could, I don't think we could, no, we have to make just shelves. We just have to buy more two by twos, whatever, yeah. and go straight up. Two hours later. So while I was gone at work, he took off the top cabinets, which gives a lot of headroom and space back there. And he just took off the back walling to the bathroom so we could see what we were working with and what we were going to demo the next day. Good morning. Rebooting. Good morning, beautiful girls. Today is like the 26th, I think. Actually, I don't know what day it is. But it's Thursday and I have off today, so we gotta run errands before we start continuing to remodel the trailer. Um, we gotta get a few things, a few groceries. And I just started my period today, so that's fun. But it's not as bad, like, it didn't even, like, feel like it was coming. Um, and I've been using, like, castor oil down there. 
to help with like fibroids and like cysts and endometriosis type stuff so it's pretty good so hopefully this period won't be as bad as the last period was because last last month girl i thought i was gonna pass out and die um so hopefully this will help this month so i didn't even really feel it starting so that's a good thing i didn't feel like the major cramping or anything like that but anyway um yeah we're gonna be going to town we got our cold bags we're in the beat up old car today save some gas money and um yeah we just got a bunch of little things that we're going to be doing today right, that's mexican is it yes, it almost looks like pasole menudo menudo <laughs> you're a bunson who <laughs> is that good holy moly oh that's even better than that other lady we're not supposed to be drinking it, but... What do you mean? What law is that? Where do you get these laws? You're not supposed to be drinking it. Is it that one or something? Never said. That's a good or Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all didn't know I knew how to use power tools, did you? Did you? so much weight I can't even get my boobies in oh my gosh and getting out <laughs> embarrassing Can you believe we used to shower in there?
have some on this bus. So much room in here now. Shh. Holy smokes, look at boop, boop, be -do. This is crazy. We used to live in here. Like, I'm so emotional because it's such a small space. Like, the Lord literally must have like put blinders on us or like expanded our vision to not realize the amount the the little amount of room that we actually had like he literally must have done something supernatural because i can't even believe we used to go to the bathroom in that small of a space like how was i wiping how was i taking a shower i don't i don't understand look at this this square right here right here that's it to that wheel well and right to there and to there that was the bathroom that's where we pooped and peed. It was a wet shower. Like, I, I, I am speechless. The Lord really is showing off already just in how much he's done, how much he just, it's just the grace of God is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. I'll show you when we're done. Oh, girl, that's pretty much a wrap for the day. Made dinner, took a shower, in bed, editing. Tomorrow I have to work, unfortunately. I got called in. So, yeah, I'm going to be working tomorrow. So I'm not going to work on the trailer, but Jim is. So I'll be sure to update you once it's all done. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close this vlog out because otherwise it's going to be really long with the remodel and everything. So we're just going to break it up into parts. Um, so yeah, I will see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.